Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on radians and Newton Brasson. Here is the exam question. Figure 1 shows a sector OABCO of a circle centre O. Given that OA is equal to OC, which is equal to 12 cm, the 12 cm is the radius, angle AOC is equal to theta radians, area triangle OAC2, area segment ABC is equal to 3 to 1. Part A show that 3 theta minus 4 sine theta is equal to 0. Please pause the video, have a go at part A. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So we've got area triangle OAC to area segment ABC is equal 3 to 1. So the area of the triangle is 3 quarters of the area of the sector. And the area of the segment is 1 quarter of the area of the sector. So I'm going to be using that result in order to generate an equation. So for example, if I take the area of the triangle, I know that area of a triangle, so my triangle's triangle OAC, has to equal 3 quarters of the area of sector, and that sector is OABCO. Right, so I'm going to take this a step further. The area of a triangle is given by a half AB sine C equal 3 quarters multiplied by area of a sector is given by a half R squared theta. Now I can substitute my values in. So if I do this, I get a half multiplied by 12 multiplied by 12 sine theta equal 3 quarters multiplied by a half multiplied by 12 squared theta. I need to simplify this particular equation. So a half times 12 times 12 gives me 72 sine theta equal 3 quarters times a half times 12 squared gives me 54 theta. I can take everything to the right hand side. So 0 is equal 54 theta minus 72 sine theta. Rewrite the equation as 54 theta minus 72 sine theta equal to 0. Then divide the entire equation by 18. So the first term becomes 3 theta minus the second term becomes 4 sine theta equal 0 divided by 18 is just 0. And that there is the desired equation. This completes part A of the exam question. Moving on to part B of the question. Taking 1.2 as a first approximation to theta, apply the newton russell method once to f of theta equals 3 theta minus 4 sine theta to find the second approximation to theta. Give your answer to three decimal places. Please pause the video, have a go at part B once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Ladies and gents, I'm going to start off with f of theta is equal 3 theta minus 4 sine theta. Now I'm going to differentiate f of theta to give me f dash of theta. So f dash of theta is equal to the first term differentiates to 3 and the second term differentiates to minus 4 cos theta. Now theta 1 is my first approximation. So my first approximation is 1.2. My second approximation theta 2 using the newton russell method is given by theta 1 minus f of theta 1 divide by f dash of theta 1. This formula is given in the formula booklet. So now I can substitute my theta 1 in. So I've got theta 2 is equal theta 1, which is 1.2, minus f of 1.2, divide by f dash of 1.2. Okay, so let's take this a step further. We've got theta 2 equal 1.2 minus 3 lots of 1.2, minus 4 sine 1.2 divide by 3 minus 4 cos 1.2. My calculator must be on radian mode. So if I keep my calculator on radian mode and I substitute all of this into my calculator, I get theta 2 is equal 1.283 to 3 decimal places. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part B of this exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on radians and Newton Brasson. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.